Well, it's Saturday, it's June 23rd. It's uh, about 10.30 in the morning and I need to do some lawn mowing. Um, and it's about uh, 72 degrees. It's gonna get close to 90 today. So I'm gonna go out and start mowing the lawn. Okay. Yard over there. Half of it was weeds and half of it was that uh, sheep fescue. Right now I'm cleaning out these gutters. To do it when it's dry, at least for me. You get these basically these clumps that uh, you know, this is like one big piece here. You can pull out, you know, two or three feet at a time. I can't do it with one hand, but you can see how this whole thing is just sort of moving together. better. I'm gonna change it out yet one more time. I'm just gonna get the kind of just spray out, not this rotary kind. Spraying out over there too, but it's not, it doesn't make it all the way down. I don't have enough pressure. So I'll, uh, I'll change it out. I'll put one sprinkler on this side, one sprinkler on the other side. I need to uh, pick up this chain link fence. It's all grown in with the weeds. I was trying to pull it out and it's just really hard. So I finally decided, well, you know, I've got a tractor. Why don't I just pull it out with the tractor? So. some of this. That's seven inch grass right there. Okay, so I'm going to do that.
reminds me. Driving underneath those trees over there. And I got a uh, early Father's Day gift. I got one of those uh, DeWalt cordless trimmers. Let me go grab that thing. Okay, here it is. You know, this is uh, it's expensive, but if you get one that's gas, a good one, you know, get a still or something like that, you're going to pay just as much. And the thing I like about this is it comes with these, you know, it's got the battery. And, uh, you know, they say that, you know, nowadays these battery things have as much torque. And so I'm just not fooling around with, uh, you know, with the gas and, uh, and putting oil in it and, you know, cleaning it out and making sure that it's clean for the winter, that kind of stuff. So I kind of like the idea. We'll see how long these batteries last. Um, so I've got, I've got this thing. I got this for Father's Day and like last month I also picked up the, uh, the trimmer, right? So this is the, the hedger and I also have the weed eater. And they both take the same battery. They also make a blower, which I want to get to. So let's see how this thing works. Okay, so I think I should have this thing set up about right. Just point it up a little bit more. I'm not quite sure. So this will be the first trimming of it. Charge the battery up all night long. First time I used it as a trim rack. Huh. So what I did uh, was I just put the battery in it yesterday and basically did what I just now did. But this will be the first time I've ever tried to trim with it. Not too bad, I went through a bunch of sticks that were pretty pretty good in terms of their thickness. I'm just gonna mow over the top of that. By the way, I got uh, had some mulching blades. I have to put the mulching blades on this thing. That'll help when I drive over the top, the top of this kind of stuff. So, so far, that's pretty good. I 
right now, I'm going to measure 123 and a half feet, basically from that wall right there. The property for this for this uh, house here goes about a foot beyond, even just a little bit more than a foot beyond that wall right there. So I'm going to measure 123 and a half feet. You know, I should be going from about a foot beyond there, but what I'm going to do is I'm putting a wall in over here. So it's going to be approximately where I'm pointing at there, past this stake right here, and coming over to about this stake right here. But we're going to see how close I am with those stakes. Um, I'm going to measure 123 feet from that wall there out this way and see where it puts me. I've got a big tape measure that goes 100 feet so it's gonna take me uh, it's gonna take me a couple of a uh, couple of measurements okay so I just measured 123 and a half feet from that far wall over there it's basically 54 and a half feet to the fence to that fence there and then I measured from the fence out which would be another 69 feet and 69 feet puts me right there which is approximately right where I have that stake so that's pretty impressive I'm gonna put it right exactly on that 69 feet because I know it goes another foot beyond that wall over there okay so by my measurement if you can see that uh, flag right there so that flag right there I think it should be more like right about where that pillar is, okay? Virtually in the middle of that pillar. Because the best that I measured, it's, that is a uh, pillar there, 78 feet. That pillar there is 78 feet from, um, from up that way, where it should be from. You measure from the, whatever, the, the point of origin for this property and come back 78 feet, 0 0.27, 78, 0.27 feet. It puts us right about there. Um, but I had to put it there because um, this other stake here in the middle had to be 20 feet out from the house. Right, and so that 20 feet out from the house, I should have a straight line that comes over here to this stake, which is uh, 123 and a half feet from that wall over there. So what I did was I, I left this stake at 123 and a half feet. And this stake out here in the middle, I left it at 20 feet from the house. And uh, based on those two stakes, I lined that stake up with them.